Well, the Bay Area looks a lot different today than it did a hundred years ago, and that has frequently meant bad things for wildlife. But as Cronforce Craig Sklar shows us, one corner of the Bay is slowly being restored, and for wildlife now, a step into the past is a step in the right direction. There was a time this marshy land was an extension of the San Francisco Bay, just the right amount of salt, tidal flow, and depth to make a natural habitat for wildlife. Than it was as it was run. As Eric Maruz, who patrols the San Francisco Bay National Wildlife Refuge, can tell you, it'll take years for a restoration project well underway to make things right again. This is probably a 15, 20-year project. For decades, this marsh was a salt pond, diked off from the bay and reduced to a shadow of what it once was. It took a long time for man to do the damage he did to this area, so it'll take a long time to get it back to normal, so wildlife can use this area the way nature intended. It was just a month ago that a key levee was breached, letting the bay water in to wash out the old and bring in the fresh and new. It's part of a multi-million dollar project designed to bring more than 16,000 acres back from the nearly dead. This breach opening 500 acres at this old salt pond in Alviso is the first major step. It was spearheaded by Senator Dianne Feinstein and others with federal, state and private funding. I think this can be a real model of how you get things done in a day of diminishing resources. It's being done slowly to avoid flooding out the surrounding communities, and the restored marsh is expected to prevent future flooding with more natural tidal movement. This, this month's breaching of the island ponds is real restoration where you're allowing full tidal action and gradual accumulation of sediment and growing tidal marsh. Over the next several decades, it'll start to look much more like it did before Europeans came here and started filling in and diking off parts of the bay. Already, refuge staff see a dramatic increase in waterfowl and shorebirds, a step towards what they hope is damage undone. In San Jose, Craig Clark, Run 4 News. Environmentalists are celebrating in the South Bay after a major milestone in restoring a wildlife habitat. The Fish and Wildlife Service recently reintroduced bay water into several salt ponds through a series of levee breaches. Now, that's a big step in the South Bay Salt Pond Restoration Project, which is meant to restore habitat and provide flood protection. Right. Senator Diane Feinstein played a role in getting the project started three years ago. I believe that this shows a private-public partnership that can work with the environmental organizations uh, led by Save the Bay, uh, with the state, with the great foundations, uh, and with the federal government. Environmental officials say it's the largest wetland restoration project on the West Coast. One of the largest wetlands restoration projects in U.S. history is finally underway in the South Bay. The project involves 16,000 acres of salt ponds near Alviso and Fremont. It's been in the planning stages since 2003 in Cruiser. Now tearing out sections of earthen levees that protected the salt ponds from the San Francisco Bay. Water from the bay will soon fill the area, leading to the return of more fish and wildlife. Birds are returning in droves. They've seen a 133% increase in the number of migratory birds for two years in a row now. Senator Dianne Feinstein says the project is one of the finest examples of a public-private partnership she has ever seen and credits the Newark-based Cargill, Cargill company for making it happen by selling.